Hello, everyone. My name is Stanley Liang, postdoctoral research fellow from National Library of Medicine (NIH). Today, I would like to present our work on automatic quantification of COVID-19 pulmonary edema by self-supervised contrastive learning. This work was collaborated by my colleagues, Dr. Jilin Xie, Dr. Shiva Rajaraman, Dr. Feng Yang and my supervisor, Dr. Samir Antani, from the Computational Health Research Branch, Lister Hill National Center for Biomedical Communications. This is the outline of my presentation. My talk will start with a brief introduction of the background and our research motivation. Then I will introduce the framework of applying self-supervised contrastive learning for the extraction of lung edema manifestation features and the chest X-ray dataset we acquired from MIDRIC, or the Medical Imaging and Data Source Center. Then I will introduce our model architecture and the results of its internal and external tax performance. Finally, I will draw a conclusion on this research with a brief discussion. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused about 7 million deaths since 2020. Machine learning, particularly deep learning, has gained utmost popularity for COVID-19 diagnosis. However, the quantitative prediction by machine learning from COVID-19 severity measurement has not yet attracted enough attention. It is partly because of the network vulnerability from adversarial attacks by random noise, as shown at the bottom right of this slide. Self-supervised contrastive learning is a machine learning method to initiate learning in an unsupervised manner. In order to acquire meaningful feature representation by minimizing the contrastive loss as shown in the middle left of this slide, the original contrastive function is similar to the softmax function, but it computes the cosine similarity score. The very similar examples will have a score close to 1, and the extremely dissimilar example will have a score close to 0. So, after taking the logarithm, it is easy to apply a loss function, where the success of learning image similarity will let the objective loss approach 0. As shown on the right middle, the original contractive learning algorithm needs to compute a triplet with both positive image pairs and negative image pairs. Here, we use the SimScience framework introduced in 2021, which further simplified the architecture by only computing the similarity between two wheels generated from identical image by random image augmentations. Therefore, the more expensive negative similarity term with logarithm can be removed and replaced by the stock gradient method for model optimization. The MRALE chest X-ray dataset we use in this research is from the 2023 Midric Challenge. Its GitHub link is shown on this slide. The original image are in the DICOM format but we convert them into PNG format with three color channels to fit the input requirement of the ImageNet Portray network that we use as backbone for feature extraction. The MRALE or Modified Radiography Assessment of Lung Edema Scoring System is to measure the severity of lung edema caused by pneumonia which is an important predictive indicator of the prognosis of COVID-19 patients. This dataset contains the MRALE score annotated by the medical experts, including the overall MRALE score ranging from 0 to 48, and the four scores represent, representing the extent of involvement of the edema and the degree of density of the alveoli of both lungs. 
there were 2,599 frontal chest X-ray images in total in this dataset. And the annotations of the MILE scores are saved in a CSV file with the study ID that can be aligned with the DICON header information. The complete model architecture is shown on the upper right of this slide. The optimization is divided into two phases. The first one is self-supervised learning in which our purpose is to train the encoder to extract the meaningful patterns from the chest x-ray image and represent it by a 2048 dimensional vector. Note that we use an ImageNet to train WestNet 15 model as the backbone for better feature extraction. And the learning process shown on the bottom left of this slide indicates that using transfer learning with Petray Backboom can acquire a smoother converged process and prevent the learning mode from collapse. In addition, the projector and the stock gradient mechanism form a teacher-student learning mode where the forward pass of the two image wheels only causes one backward propagation. Thus, the student network or the student phrases of the SimScience Backboom network can be effectively optimized. We can build the loss by comparing the contrastive similarity of the projector outputs to the predictor outputs, where Z1 and Z2 are the outputs of the projector and P1 and P2 are the outputs of the predictor, as shown in the formula on the, mid, on the middle of this line. In the phase 2 training, we freeze the encoder and use the outputs from the frozen encoder as training features to train a multi-layer perceptron as a regression model in a supervised learning manner using mean square error function as loss objective. The overall model performance will be reported in the next slide. To prefer a thorough and reliable evaluation, we run a five-fold cost validation to assess the mean square error, or MSE, mean absolute error, or MAE, and Spearman row correlation between the ground true MRALE score and the predicted score. Three models are used for performance comparison. The proposed self-supervised contrastive regressor with Petray ResNet 15 backboom, an identical model without Petray weights and tray from scratch, and a Petray ResNet 15 directly trained as a regressor to predict the MRALE score. The mean of the metrics with the corresponding 95% confidence interval is shown on the table on the left, and the figure on the right indicates their training process. We find that the proposed model with the train ways outperforms the comparators at all the metrics with statistical significance. In addition, we also train the proposed model with the whole data set and submit it to Midric for external text. According to the statistics for metrics, the model has a prediction probability concurrence of 0.811 and a quadratic weighted kappa of 0.739. In this research, we use a self-supervised contrastive learning framework for the quantitative prediction of MILE score directly from the frontal chest X-ray images. The SimSci architecture is used with the Petray ResNet 15 network as backbone for diagnostic pattern extraction. The result indicates the proposed method is capable of capturing the meaningful diagnostic features, which plays an important role for score prediction. For future work, we will focus on using more advanced architectures such as region transformers to further separate 
the vision patterns from medical images and try to build the AI architecture for medical semantic representation by unsupervised and self-supervised learning method for medical image analysis. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.